hello there and welcome to my youtube channel if this is the first time i'm going to ask you to subscribe but today stick with me i'm going to share with you my top seven lessons from the book think and grow rich and what i'm saying is you can't just think and grow rich and when i'm done i'm going to tell you why so please stick with me to the end click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon that way you can always get notifications when i upload a new video Yeah, thank you for subscribing. So let's get right in. My top seven lessons from the book, Think and Grow Rich. This book is a bestseller. It has, it's an international bestseller. It has sold millions and millions of copies around the world and people have loved it. It has changed a lot of people's lives. But I've always found people who read the title of the book and think that it is all about just having the mindset of loving money or chasing money or just coveting money. But that's not all that the book talks about and if you really read the book you are going to agree with me that it is not just about thinking and you can't just sit down and think about making money and make money there is a process the part that is missing is what i'm going to talk about in this review so i'm going to share with you my top seven lessons from the book number one there is a difference between knowledge and education number two have a definite purpose number three I'm going to share with you the six steps to achieving your desire according to Napoleon Hill. Lesson number four, imagination is one of the most important steps to success. Lesson number five, organize planning. Lesson number six, decision making. And the last lesson I'm going to share with you today is have faith. Let's get it. Once again, if you haven't subscribed please click on the red button and then click on the bell icon that way you will get notifications whenever i upload a new video and i'm uploading a video every other day please help this channel to grow to 1000 subscribers you can share with your friends i really really appreciate that thank you so much for helping me out so what i'm saying is that the book didn't tell you enough of this that's what i'm telling you take action a lot of people think that it's all about having a mindset of wanting money desiring money and that once you are thinking about making money you are going to make money but that is a mistake because you are thinking about making money doesn't mean you are going to make money the action is what people miss and one thing that law of attraction doesn't teach you is in the word attraction itself the last six letters of the word attraction spur the word action and if you don't take action as Pablo Picasso once said action begins everything if you're not taking action then nothing is going to work so it's not just about thinking and growing rich it's about taking action it is not just about having ideas but acting on those ideas because if you don't then it doesn't matter how many ideas you have how much thinking you that you do about money you are never going to make money lesson number one there is a difference between knowledge and education here Napoleon talks about the fact that there are lecturers, teachers, professors in schools who know a lot, who are knowledgeable in the effort of study, but these people don't are not able to translate the knowledge into practical steps to make them money or become worthy. And that is why he you, he says in the book that you see a lot of teachers and professors who are not millionaires or billionaires. Why? Even though they know a lot about what they are teaching, obviously. So he points out that. The difference between knowledge and education is that you can be knowledgeable in something but if you don't have the practical way of applying it to making getting the result out of it you can be somebody with two phds three masters but that still live in a place where you are not making a lot of money or you're not succeeding in what you are doing and so you have to know that you can study from different places you don't only have to go to the university to gain knowledge or to study you can get education from your past experiences you can go to public libraries you can study from um, books you can read on your own you can teach yourself so find ways of gaining specialized knowledge and applying it for results instead of being someone who is just collecting academic credentials and have nothing to show for it he says this and he suggests that readers seek knowledge through public libraries, training courses, universities, colleges, practical experiences, and often read books in your related industry. I am committed to reading a book every every week or at least every two weeks 
in something that I'm interested in, whether it is communication, whether it is public speaking, personal development, medicine, public health, anything that is related to what I am pursuing as part of my life goal, I'm reading and upgrading myself. I don't have to attend um, a degree course or take a course on it to be able to understand. I either teach myself or I take online courses or I, I watch YouTube videos like you are doing right now. There are lots of tutorials on YouTube where you can learn and you don't necessarily have to be a student in a school to do that. You just have to be a student of life and learn wherever you are. So that is lesson number one. Know the difference between knowledge and education. Know the difference between just knowing and applying what you know. Lesson number two, have a definite purpose. Napoleon here says that a desire is a beginning point for all achievements. So if you have a desire, that is what sets the tone for your success. But desire doesn't have to be just you, you wishing something good happens to you. You need to have a definite purpose. What exactly do you want to happen to you? And he goes on to share the six ways to make your definite purpose, your desire come to life. And I'm going to share that with you as we go along the lessons. Your definite purpose has to be specific. You need to be able to define it in a clear and concise way so that you can even write it down and read it every day and remind yourself what you are going after. If you don't really know what you're going after, then you wouldn't know when you get it. So you need to know exactly what you want and what you are going after with your life. He says this, the most practical of all methods for controlling the mind is the habit of keeping it busy with a definite purpose. Know what you want and define it. Be specific about it. Lesson number three, six steps to achieving everything you desire. And this is intriguing so pay attention as we move on to these six steps step number one have in your mind the exact amount of money you desire or what you seek exactly so here he's sharing six steps you can use to achieve what you are going after if it's an amount of money you want maybe at the end of this month you want to make a thousand dollars you need to have in your mind that specific amount and write it down number two determine what you are willing to sacrifice a commit in order to get this amount of money. So ask yourself, what can you do to make a thousand dollars by the end of July? Can you sell? Can you write? Can you produce a product? Can you work for other people? Can you wash cars? Can you mow the lawn? What can you do? Can you give your time? What can you do? Or what are you willing to sacrifice to make that amount of money or to reach the goal you are striving for? Step number three, specify the exact date by which you desire to receive this amount or reach this goal so let's say today is the 14th of the month and i want to make a thousand dollars by the 31st of july i need to state how or when exactly i want this amount of money so i need to write that by 31st july 2020 i need a thousand dollars by then when you finish create a plan and take the first step immediately so then i have to write it down how how can i make a thousand dollars within the next two weeks i can write i can write an ebook and sell that's one i can clean cars or i can wash cars that's number two i can ask for a raise at work that's number three maybe i can sell used items online maybe i can do print on demand shopping or drop shipping um business online so come up with a plan come up with a way you can make the thousand dollars and when you finish don't sit down and keep thinking about it get up and do something if my plan is to write an ebook and sell within the next two weeks and make a thousand dollars i have to think about the topic i have to start writing researching immediately because action like i said from the beginning is what separates the people who keep thinking about succeeding and those who do succeed because if you don't take action on your dream then just thinking about it won't make you rich so step number five Describe your desire in a clear and conscious statement. So write it down in one sentence or, or two or three, or there are fewer sentences. What exactly are you looking for? I want a thousand dollars by the end of July 31st, 2020. Write it down and paste it somewhere on the wall. Read it twice daily aloud. Read it to yourself. And what is it? Once you begin to do that, you instruct your subconscious mind to come up with ways of making this possible. And I want you to follow this step because Napoleon shares in the book and it's really powerful. I have tried it with a lot of things that I've done and I can testify that it works, especially step number four. Once you create the plan, 
take the first step immediately don't wait don't procrastinate don't do anything else just do something in the direction of the plan you just created lesson number four imagination is the most important steps to success and so here he shares that you have to have a mind where you can see things happening ahead of you you don't need to see it with your eyes but you need to be able to go in your mind and have um, an imagination of what you are looking for because if you can see it in your mind then you can hold it in your hands that's what he says if you can see it in your mind you can hold it in your hands that means that you need to first see what you are going for and he talks about the two types of imagination i'll share more with you in a subsequent summary of the book but here i'm going i'm just going to focus on the creative imagination he talks about this is where you sit you create time for yourself or you make time for yourself and you meditate and come up with creative ideas out there or another type of imagination is where you try and come up with new ways of doing things from already existing ideas and he said if you give yourself time you can come up with ideas or creative ideas on how to reach your goal how to make money how to succeed in everything you are seeking so he writes that riches come in response to definite demands based on the application of definite principles when a creator of an idea and a seller of an idea got together and worked in harmony he says becoming rich is not by working hard it is partially true that hard work makes you successful but it is not the whole truth you need to be able to develop or generate ideas that will bring will make people pay for it that is going what is going to make you successful or rich so you need to be able to find a way of coming up with new ideas of making money selling your ideas selling your products a service that will benefit other people and in turn they will pay for it so if you're not coming up with ideas and you are just working hard working hard you can't move forward you can't succeed you can't just think and grow rich you need to bring ideas that you can apply services that other people will pay for products that other people will buy that is how to make money or become rich lesson number five is organized planning this is something i'm still working on and he talks about it in the previous chapter where he talks about the mastermind group he shares the importance of organizing your plan and making it in such a way that you want to surround yourself with people who are going in your direction people can help you develop as a person that means you need to find a group of people who are highly motivated and can push you to rise above your normal and he calls this group of people the mastermind group and he suggests that you meet with this group two or three times a week where you discuss your goals you push each other to move towards your goals and this way you are able to stay accountable so when you create a plan for how much money you want at the end at the end of the month don't just write it and leave it organize it into pieces what am i going to do each hour each day each week to be able to reach my goal or accomplish my desire or my dream of becoming successful organize your plans he says one can achieve extraordinary success through organized planning create a plan for your life and i think something zig ziglar said if you are building a house you need to have a plan how much more your life so if you don't have a plan for what kind of life you want how much money you want where you want to stay where you want to live who you want to be with five years from now ten years from now you are not going to be successful because you don't know what you are looking for so create a plan and organize your life into a plan that you can follow and as you go along some things will change you may have to tweak your plan but if you have an, a plan it is better to change a plan than when you don't have one so having a plan is, is important because if changes come along the way then you just have to make the changes tweak it along the way to fit the purpose for what you are changing it for but if there's no plan then you don't know what to change you don't even know what the problem is so create a plan for your life lesson number six is decision making and this is the most important part because i believe this is the part people miss a lot of people procrastinate and so they don't decide to start becoming successful winning at anything begins with the decision to start the rest is merely tenacity so decide to start today once you finish watching this video what is that one thing that you want to do create a plan and decide to start today not tomorrow don't procrastinate and he says one of the most common reasons people fail is because of procrastination that it is important to avoid procrastination and take immediate action the word here is immediate action if you don't take action on your dream i'm saying again you can't just think and grow rich you need to act immediately on your goal on your plan on whatever you want to do 
move forward with that strength with that same enthusiasm and don't, don't wait don't procrastinate don't say you're going to do tomorrow next week next month no now last one i'm talking about here is have faith you are going to encounter a lot of challenges on the way to your dream on the way to making a million dollars on the way to becoming successful what you need is to have faith and he suggests that readers to spend at least 30 minutes every day to read to meditate to shape their thoughts to inch closer to success i believe in a higher power so i believe that even when things are tough god is keeping me through or taking me through to a higher purpose and you have to draw your strength you believe your faith from something you can believe in what you are fighting for believe in where you are going and that it doesn't matter how difficult things get have faith that things will work out and then you will reach your destination so having faith is an important element in becoming successful so i think i've been able to show you my top seven lessons from the book think and grow rich and my point here is it is not just about thinking you can't just think and grow rich you need to take a definite a purposeful action immediately once you create a plan begin working on it right away and don't just sit down and wait because you are thinking you can think and think and think and think if you don't do you won't make it don't be a thinker be a thinking doer that means think but get up and do don't just think about things or think of things that you want to do but just actually wake up and go do it so action is what is going to separate those who are just thinking from those who are succeeding i don't want you to be just a thinker but be a thinking doer thank you for watching to the end if you are here kindly click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon that way you are going to get notifications anytime i upload a new video and i'm uploading a video every other day please help this channel to grow to 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours if you share with your friends i would appreciate that if there's a book you want me to review please kindly don't forget to leave it in the comment section share with me which of these seven lessons you are picking for your life and what you need to take immediate action on please leave it so i can get to keep you accountable on it i promise you i'm going to comment i'm going to reply to your comments and i'm going to get in touch with you so we do it together let me hear from you in the comments do you believe you can just think and grow rich it is not just about thinking it's about thinking and acting on what you're thinking about thank you for watching and see you on the next video until then keep working for we shall win maybe not immediately but if we don't stop then definitely see you again on the next video